Hey everybody, it's Stormy Iris, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we got the first of, or first, well, more so first half of the eight Triforce Shards that are uh, scattered across the sea. In this episode, we'll hopefully be finishing that up today. Um, no guarantee, because, you know, sometimes, sometimes this game likes to act a little quirky. Um, and there is a possible chance that we won't, but let's just, uh, hope and pray that doesn't happen. All right, getting started here. But, eh. Actually, I think we actually need to be here, which is actually kind of funny. Um, because we actually get a certain item from here. I actually, I completely forgot about the two this. <laughs> Uh, like, until, like, just this actual, just until this moment. Are you kidding me? Man, this is rough. Alright. I forget, like, this thing has such a limited range. So it was the same type of sand to start plot. Okay, I said I would stop with the never-ending JoJo references in the last episode. Jeez, okay. Um, so, we want to be here on Diamond Step Island because there is a certain, uh, thing that we need to get here because... We won't be able to get the, the, uh, the, um, the rest of the sh uh, shards if we don't, so we have to be here. Um, I don't remember if there's, like, an actual hint towards the game. I know, like, on the incredible chart, it tells you, like, like, hey, this is, like, something that you, like, you should probably do, but, like, it doesn't actually, I, I'm ashamed. I actually didn't mean to do that. Um, I don't remember exactly if there's a hint. I believe there's, like, a, an NPC or two that talks about this, but, um, I don't remember if it's actually, like, like told that you have to do this. Okay, um, yeah, okay, I got everything I need. Alright, so, in this little mini dungeon sort of thing, we gotta find the right path, and what I don't, uh, suffer with me as I try to figure out exactly what is the right path. Um, because this game does a ha ha funny and it makes this uh, whole thing a, a maze. So you just get kind of just finding your way through. I think I remember. I want to say I remember most of this. Throw it. No. Out of here. Um, oh yeah, getting uh, more arrows doesn't hurt. There's actually a really funny, like, death lock here, I believe. Um,. Oh, I, mi I missed! I missed! Got I'm suffering. Please, die! Thank you! Give back my magic and freaking arrows at least, Jesus. Okay. I want to say it's this one, um, but yeah, like, this is, like, a really cool area. I really, really like, nope, I'm bad at this game. Okay, it was the other one, then. Yeah, it, this is just, like, that one area that, like, I could just never remember exactly what the path is. I believe the pots that you've already opened stay open, so that's a plus. So you can at least, like, end of floor, okay, the floor master's return now? Like, that's a bit much game. Uh, well, I'm gonna run past them because we, we are not about that life. Um, not gonna suffer and you know bad at this game trying to kill the floor masters again. It's this pot. My bad. I knew it's one of these two, but I can never remember exactly which one it is. Oh, fucking awesome! It puts you right next to the freaking floor master. Put it down. No. Very cool. Okay. Um. Crap, I don't remember exactly which one it is. Um, well, there's this funny little tactic called trial and error, and thankfully, um, it is free to use. So if you you put you next to the floor master, game. No, let me let me go. Die. What? He's got cuckoo mode. Uh-huh. 
Okay. No, no, that's fine. You know what? We made it. That is the point. Alright, so I only messed up once. That's not too bad. Um, but yeah, there is actually like a really funny soft lock. Or I, I want to say it's soft lock. Yeah, so we get the ghost ship chart. This is what we need. Um. Oh, I, I almost silated. Yeah, it's like right here. It's like right at the entrance. So if you like go over here, like you sit all like, like this, you sit all the way. So Link can't move. And you exit. And you die. <laughs> Wait, it puts you here? What? I want to say because you are like loading into a new spot, like you are being, like your model is being teleported. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I want to show that off. It's kind of funny. Um, oh, green choo choo, blue choo choo. That's not a blue choo choo. Give me your, give me your choo choo. I don't actually really see like really any purpose of doing it. I just like doing because I think it's funny. Um, but yeah, um. Show that off. I don't remember exactly where you hear about the the ghost chart, um, but you do hear about it. I remember you hearing about it, and it was like a big thing. Like, hey, there's a certain thing that appears, you know, every you know certain phase of the moon. Actually, if we find it, no, I don't want. To, I don't want to look at goddamn Beetle's chart. Um, actually, actually, while we're, uh, while I'm, like, doing this right now, actually, I'll see if I can find it. So, it is actually, um, the ghost ship is out currently. Um, you'll be able to f spot it. It isn't, like, super, like, it ain't, like, super hard to miss. Oh, it's become daytime. Yeah, it's not gonna be out now. Um, but yeah, you would just want to go to the corresponding island. Um, and, uh, destroy the thing. Alright, you, you want to go to the corresponding island that is in the phase of the moon. Yeah, these guys suck it. Ow. Alright, game. Alright, game. I will shut up. Yeah, I want to get close to it. Yeah, you also, you want to fight for this one. Um, because this is special, and then it goes. There you go. Ow! No, 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 no. Eh! I didn't want to do that. Oh, first try. Wow, I, that was supposed to be getting hit, losing sight of it, and just pretty much pulling a a, uh, a screw it moment. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> We're gonna try first try. We gotta get this cipher somewhere else. All right. Wait, no. No. Um. I'm gonna set the moon. I get I get these confused so much. It's actually kind of funny. Um, but yeah, we want to set the time of day. I'm going to look at the current phase of the moon. Um, I don't actually know what island that is. Um, of course, if you're, you know, a good bean and you, um, is it this island? No worry, like, you, you will know the ghost ship when you see it. It ain't that hard to miss. Um, I just, uh, if you actually chart your map and are actually proactive with it, like, this isn't that hard. I want to say that's Mother and Child Island. That's what a part of me wants to say. Of course, you can, like, manipulate it until you get an island that you, like, 100% know. Right, no, 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 no. Okay, hold up. Hello, fellow pirate ships. Or hello, fellow warships. Alright, cool. Yeah, you can you can do that. I find it really funny that you can do that. You can just whip out the the swift sail in a in an area like this. All right, get up and come over here. We'll play the winds requiem. Go to experience requiem. All right. We get the next triforce chart. Yeah, like these aren't like. See the thing between like the thing that I actually like really find funny. 
doing this on the original GameCube version suck ass. I've talked about it before, I think like in the last episode, like just how like how annoying it is. Like it you like unless you have played the original version, like I don't think there's amount of like picturing in your mind just how annoying this quest is. It is actually that like it is that terrible. I hate it. All right. So, we now have the last of the, um, I want to teleport. Oh, right. First time. First time doing it today. I guess I'll watch the cutscene. We're going to go to Tingle Island. Um, we're going to have to come back here, um, because we got to get all the, the stuff deciphered, but, um, but for right now, we're just gonna like kind of skip by it for right now because we want to head to the northwest because oh, and that's not good. Days, days is starting to come. Yeah, we got it. We got We got a cruise, my guy. You know, you're being a real, you're being a real joy kill. You know that? Yeah, I think it's Mother Child Island. Um, hopefully I can get there before daytime comes. I think I still have a decent amount of time left in the night. Oh my god. These freaking, these freaking enemies, I swear to god. Yeah, like, you'll, you'll notice it when you see it. Like, it's not that hard to spot. It is actually quite obvious. This is that island. I don't imagine to do that. Yeah, like I said, um, this is significantly easier if you actually make an effort to chart your map. Uh, unlike me, who just is like, you know what? Wonder Waker HD is pretty cool enough, and it just doesn't need that now. Oh, guys, it's not the sound, is it? Oh, no. <laughs> um, oh, it's sep because it's separated. Oh, I'm a goofy goober. Oh, because it's not on the map right now. Oh. Let's change that. Let's put it uh, on the map. Um, is it going to actually make it night? Oh, my God, it actually made it nighttime. All right. I want to say I know where this island is, but I don't know where this island is. Um, God, I have to use my brain. Oh no. Um, I know what island this is. Like, I just don't remember where it is. Yeah, again. I think it's, you know, chart your map, alright? When you play this, if you ever play this, do do your part and chart your map. Okay, um... I'm gonna... Part of me just wants to keep just resetting it until it's just at an island that I know. Or just go to an island I know it's gonna be at and just keep resetting. Like, I, I think that's a part of what, what I really want to do here. Because it is going to be actually brutal if I don't do that. Um, is it there? No. It's close, but no. Um. I don't think it... Um, I don't think this is... No, there's, there's five, and I don't... I ain't seeing five here. Oh my god, wow, it actually is here. I I got lucky. Holy crap. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Yeah, so yeah, you, you'll see it when you see it. It is just a ghost. Oh, I love the theme. Um another moment of me gushing about the music. Um yeah, so, n that's cool, game. Die. We hate. We hate wizards. Die. Yeah, you're gonna find that you're gonna be starting to kill a lot of enemies like really, really quickly because, um, because of the pulley power master sword. Like it is like actually like really, really powerful. Like, any major enemy that, like, you think that, like, would, um, 
that you would find takes a normally a lot of hits, you're gonna find does a lot, you're gonna be doing a lot more damage. You're gonna be dying a lot quicker. I thought there was a lot more enemies in this area than I remember it being. But yeah, um, this is the ghost ship. This is literally the only time it appears in the game. So I wanna see, I wanna see this in person because, um, because there is a point where you can look at it and its face changes. I wanna see that. I don't remember exactly how it is that triggers it. Um, cause I've seen this in a video. So I think if you open the chest, I wanna say it changes. No. You gotta try for shit. Oh, you just get a shard. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's supposed to make like a really fucking creepy face. Um, when you uh, see it. So, that is all for the ghost ship. Like, it actually never comes back after this. Um, so. The incredible chart. I thought the ghost ship had just a, had just um, a, a chart on it. I didn't think it didn't have a chart. Well, that is a lot less worrying that I have to do. Um, but yeah, that's um, I like the ghost ship in this game. Um, if you ever like again, like I would always recommend like hey, if you can do it, go out and find a lot of um. Like a lot of the themes, because I think they're really, really good. Like this is no exception. I really like the dark, because it, it really is like, I think I, I want to say they what they took the idea like they really like the ghost ships thing for this game, and then they went on to do Phantom Hourglass, and then made it the focal point. So you got choo choos, you got moblins, you got fairies, uh, all up on this tower, and then you got there's a multi, there's a multiple tingles now. It, they must be destroyed. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Hmm? That fragrant, musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid, splendid, show me, show me. Why, you can't read that chart in its current state? Impossible, sir. Would you like to... To, would you like for me to decipher it for you for 398 rupees? Yeah, this is why you want to collect rupees and get the big wallet, especially in the original version. You had to decipher so many charts, and you they cost 398 rupees a pop. Yeah, it sucked. Ugh. I think you needed at least 3,000 rupees to cover it. Alright, got a chart deciphered. Undefined treasure, shut up, no one asks. Alright, die. You're going to die in the next few minutes. Our daily Eggman moment. Old A, ow. Um, Alright, so we're going to get into the King of Red uh, Purple Panthers. You're killing me here. Triforce, chart three. Um, damn. Oh, it puts them on the map, on the incredible chart for you. I actually didn't know that. Well, man, that makes my life a lot easier. All right, cool. I swear, guys, is that an enemy? No, it's just uh, the fishman. All right, making our way to the Great Fish Isle. You know what's actually kind of nuts? A a Ganon, I almost said Eggman. Uh, Ganondorf like came here in search of Jaboon. If, if, if he knew that like the um that the a Triforce shard was here, like that would've been crazy. Like he ha would actually have like, whoa, what the hell? Um, like, he would actually have the knowledge that, um, one of these charts, uh, charts was here. Uh, which would have been really, really crazy, but, um.
It was good. It would have been crazy. It would have been crazy. But we get a trifle shard. Only two, two more. What? Oh. I never got the last chart. Man, I was wondering. I was like, man, that's super weird. Only two of them? I mean, I'm, I'm real goofy today, aren't I? Dang. Well, well, what we'll do, we'll go to the Forest Haven. We'll snag the next Triforce Shard, and then we will grab the Triforce Chart. Let's, let's, wait a minute. There should have been one. There's, there's one I know exists. Why isn't it existing? Because I didn't get the chart. Off we go. This way. Yeah, like, um, getting used to being able to do, like, the Wind Waker pullout to stop the boat completely and then being able to just do the, um, thing is a really good skill and I recommend people learn how to do it. I think it's genuinely, like, that good. Um. Screw off, shark. No one asked. No one literally asked. <laughs> you know what's actually really funny? I didn't realize it. I'm pretty sure we would be in the same. We would actually be in the same, like, almost area as the. Yeah, we were just a couple squares away from the, the last Triforce chart when we did the ghost ship. No, if you if you ever get like any time, look up like stuff about the ghost ship in this game. I think it's really really interesting, um, because it is like super like out of the way, and I don't. I'll see a lot of people talking about it. Uh, do I have a bait bag? I don't have a hoi pair! Alright. You know what's happening? Run dragon roast. I don't have a hoi pair. Because <laughs> you need one. Wait! Wait, I don't think you do. <laughs> Wait, do you? I think you do. I think so. I think so. Yeah, because you need to take control of the seagull. Beetle, you come here, Beetle. Ah! No, I want to get. Oh, I want to stop the boat and get out of the boat. I don't want to keep freaking. I don't want to keep freaking getting on it. Oh! So pirates sold me bombs for cheap. Quinn do with the pirate girl. I don't think she's a pirate girl anymore. Thank you! Thank you! Bye, Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Bye! Bye! Alright, we, 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 we love- <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I forget he looks so sad when you get out of his boat. Like, you didn't just spend, like, half your, like, entire life saving his on him. He's like, oh, you laughed. Okay. Well, we have Hoi pairs now. I had more room to buy more, but whatever. That's besides the point. That's not what we're doing here. We are absolutely just, we're going it. All right, we got three attempts. I don't think it'll be that many, but... Um, but you, but you never know. You literally never know. All right. All right, so. We want to head northeast. And this is where we go. We're heading back towards this island. Yeah, I, uh, completely forgot that the Hoi pair was required. Hoi pair gang here. Um, but um, but yeah, like like in the original version of the game, like if you played it and understand, like you absolutely know why people hated it so much and why people praised this version for fixing it because it, it was the most horribly paced part of the entire game. And it sucked ass. Oh, gosh. Like, I distinctly remember, like, doing it for the first time and, like, playing it on, um... Oh, what is it? Playing it on my old, like, 
Oh, this is gonna. No, I should have. I should have tried to pick him out first. All right. Well, we. We'll see what we can do on the first try. Um, because a really good thing to do is to like take out the um. A, a really good thing to do. Uh, hit him with the. Hit him with the right creep. Oh, ew, oh, oh, ew, oh. Hit him right foot creep. Oh, I can't hit the switch. There we go. I got it. It's so weird flying a freaking seagull. Uh, I hate these things with the gulls. What? Excuse me. I don't think that's how that works, Gabe. Game. Game, I literally have Karkarok after me. Let me hit the switch. What the hell? Game, what the dog doing? Give me that first person ability so I can actually see where I'm going. <laughs> What the hell? Let me flip the switch. Thank you. No! Crap. <laughs> God, I remember it being like super goofy and weird. Oh, they, he, oh, he's angry with me. I have actually disturbed his peace. Oh, headshot! Oh, I'm wondering, like, what the hell am I doing? What button am I pressing? I'm hearing, like, the, the thing, but I'm like, what the hell? What, 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 what the button doing? Alright, well. I guess I haven't suffered enough. Uh, hot seagull hours, let's go. Oh, there is one more. I, I don't, like... Maybe it's just me, but like I just find like the the image of like this very menacing looking cargo rock being like what? Oh god, please! No. There we go. Eh? Eh? Oh, thank God! <laughs> You're just like on the rock, you stupid idiot. Oh, oh, we hit him with a right foot creep. Oh, oh, he dying. Is he gonna come after? <laughs> Look at it, it's like so menacing. <laughs> All right, no witnesses. All right, cool. <laughs> I just love the visceral image of just, just like really pissed off Kargarok just fly towards you menacingly. There we go, gain back some of my money. Beetle! Or not beetle, freaking tingle. Alright, there we go. And wins requiem. I you can actually do um the thing on like the gamepad um too which is really really cool. But like I, I distinctly remember Getting back on my train of thought, I kind of lose that quite a lot, so it really do be like that sometimes. Um, but um, I distinctly remember, like, I because I never had like an actual TV for a while, but what I had was like my uh, younger sister's, like, so like I know, like, I don't know if they do them now, but they like when I was a kid, like, they would um have like different TVs like they were they were TVs like they had like analog and stuff because you don't have it they didn't have HDMI like they do nowadays um I say that like I'm like super old or some shit but I'm like it was like when analog was still the thing like right, right when you had your, your your yellow cable your red cable and your blue cable and your white cable I think I don't, I don't actually remember the colors I believe it was those um you need to plug it into the back and you, and you get the you know the analog thing um Maybe it was analog. I want to. I want to say it was analog. But um, I remember distinctly having my GameCube set up, um, sitting on my bed, with, with this like little like princess TV playing this, um, and beating this for the first time. Actually, like this is, that's actually what I, I beat it that day. And I remember distinctly doing this quest and like being super confused because I like I was like, what am I doing here? Like, what am I doing wrong? And I like you know. Doing having to look look up like hey, this is what you have to do because I never beat this game actually until I was like 12 I think Oh, mr. Fairy. I've been longing to see you sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What you're not here to play? 
Hmm, that fragrant musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid, splendid, show me, show me. Why, you can't read that chart in this current state? Impossible, sir. Would you like for me to decipher it for you for only 400 fucking rupees? Yeah, it's sure. Oh, yeah, single, single, Kululium Pa! Become readable! I do it. I love that this. Don't. <laughs> Look at his face on the right! Very, very, he's pretty much telling you how to open treasure charts. Okay, no one, okay, no one asked. And then away we go. Ow! Alright. Huh. Dang, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Oh, we're literally going back to the same island. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine by me. In fact, I'd even say that's a coincidence. A coincidence. Um, but, um, yeah, like, I, I specifically remember it because it was, like, super confusing. Um, because, like, I'm not, like, like, nowadays, like, I know what I'm doing. For the most part. <laughs> um, but, like, when I was a kid, like, when I was, like, 12 years old, because I can I, I think I've told this story before. I never actually got past Dragon Roost as a kid. I was always too scared of Goma. And I don't know why. I, like, now I, like, really love Goma's design. I think it's really, really cool. Um, but, like, I just could never actually beat Wind Waker because I was just too scared of Goma. And when I was, like, 12, I was like, you know what? I gotta, like, grow up. <laughs> like, I gotta grow up. Like, eventually, like, this is kind of goofy. Um, I want to say it's towards this island. Yeah, it is. Um, but, like, yeah, like, I never actually, like... I may be a bit off. There we go. Um, because, like, Goma scared the crap out of me. And I was, like, 12, like, 11 or 12, so, like, I never... Like, okay, so... A lot of my GameCube games ended up, like, uh, I don't know if I've actually, like, fully told this story. You have Trifor Shard. At last, you've hit the last shard. You know, get to eight to form the Triforce of Courage. Oh, it actually shows it on the thing. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> um, so, like, when I was a kid, like, um, I had somebody who, like, snapped all my GameCube games. Um, and I, like, never, like, and Wind Waker was one of them, so, like, I never actually got to fully play Wind Waker post that. Um, and it wasn't until I was, like, 11 or 12. Like, this was, like, like, this was back when they still sold GameCube games. What was it? Like, maybe it was, like, 10. Like, 2010, I want to say. It was, like, it was, it was, like, 10 to 12. 10 to 13, actually, I want to say. 10 to 13. Um, when I, I fully, actually, like, finally, like, beat Wind Waker. Because I remember, I because I went with my dad to GameStop. And, because he wanted to get a game himself. Like, that, because, yeah, my dad, my dad used to be a gamer. Um, and, um, I, I went with my dad, and I noticed that they had Wind Waker when they, when they actually still sold GameCube games. Um... And I remember, like, it was like, I never got to finish this. And I was, like, really upset that I never got to finish it. And, like, I was like, Dad, can I be able to, would I be able to get this game? And this was, like, this shit was, like, super cheap. Because, again, like, multiple consoles had come out since then. You had, like, the DS, you had the Wii. The GameCube, like, like I mean, you could still get GameCube games because, again, like, the Wii was still relevant, uh, relevant. And you could still, like, play GameCube games on the Wii. So... It wasn't like super strong. I think it was like 15 bucks, and you know, because I was like, I never got to finish it, and I was like, really happy that I had it. And my dad's like, Yeah, throw it on. And I was like, Oh, sick. Um, and that's when I would actually go to finish Wind Waker, and then you know, actually, you know, then you know, Wind Waker actually came out a couple years later. But well done, Link. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. Oh, that's super cool. It being like an actual like item. That's super cool. I love that. And
hand? Oh, what is this? There on your hand! The Triforce Beast now dwells within you! It is the Triforce of Courage. Proof that you are indeed the true hero. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas. And here, you're at the end of your quest. The power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds. Link! Hero of Winds! Go forth! To Hyrule, to Zelda side! Alright, so let's uh, hop out of the King of Red Lions. King of Red Lions, it's been good knowing you, bud. Now nah, we'll see him again. Um, <laughs> but let's head inside and. See, oh! Oh no. That most certainly was not like that last time we were here. Damn, rip the hero, I guess. Anyway, come down here. See Zelda, since we got the Triforce of Courage now, we're cool. She'll totally like us now. Alright, come over here. It's Zelda! <laughs> Zelda! Oh god, she's gone. She pooped. And uh, uh, there she goes. Uh, there she goes. You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Know that my power has been restored. There is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda. And here, you shall fall into eternal slumber. And? Two dark nuts. Or iron knuckles, my bad. Mini boss of Hyrule Castle. Not as cool as the Scourge of Hyrule Castle, but ah, not as cool as the Scourge of Hyrule Castle, but they still. Oh my God, his mask is immune. Here we go. Actually, if I want to do something really quirky here, um, there we go. So if you target an enemy, you can see their health. You guess the ah, whoa. Dang, dude, calm down. Yeah, these dudes have a lot of health. And that's with our fully up power master sword, by the way. That is with a fully powered up master sword. They they have a lot of health. <laughs> and do that and ah! God dang it! I just healed. There he goes. Awesome. But yeah, just to show it off. They actually, you know, see it in action, you know? And the fire goes away, and I can heal. <laughs> but yeah, Zelda has been taken. And we're wearing this goofy mask. So I think next time on The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, we're gonna go chase down Zelda and Ganondorf and end Ganondorf's reign of terror once and for all. I'll see you guys then.